Well, hello and good evening. It is cleanse day two. Here we are, two days into the cleanse. And I've got to tell you, I'm really surprised by a variety of things. I've been up since about 4.30 this morning and it's almost nine o'clock at night. I taught two boot camp classes, one at 5.45 and one tonight at six. Add to that, I was at an expo, um, a networking extravaganza event all day long from 9 a.m. actually getting there at 8.30 and left at 4 o'clock and I'm still going. Um, definitely had lots of challenges, lots of, as I call them, opportunities throughout the day to be challenged or have struggles with food and, and other things kind of being there as temptations um, during the expo all day long. Uh, they had a buffet lunch. Like, I love buffet lunches. I live for buffet lunches. And so you can only imagine the fun, <laughs> quote-unquote, that I had trying to avoid the buffet lunch today. By that time, I had probably had two shakes and a bunch of cups of tea, um, as well as my sugar snap peas as a snack. And that was it. So I was tempted, I'm not going to lie, but ultimately the coolest thing was, was that it wasn't like a serious temptation. Like I didn't walk over and even look at the food. I saw people walking by me. They had their plates full of like egg rolls and big salads with a bunch of dressings and all that kind of stuff. I just was like, huh, all right, no big deal. I actually handle it better than I probably normally would because I was really focused. I was actually drinking my shakes a lot slower than I normally do. Normally I just slam them down and what I really realized today was that ultimately I eat really fast and I don't necessarily savor my food. I don't have a lot of awareness or think a lot about my food even though I'm a trainer I've been in the health and fitness industry for a while I've had health issues all of that kind of stuff so today it really really hit home with me as far as what I'm putting in my body just enjoying every little bit of it as if it was my last and tonight you know I, I had my last meal of the day some chicken and, and celery and some salad but I, I definitely feel tired right now, but it's it's been a full day, but about an hour ago, I was kind of feeling like the Energizer Bunny. I was feeling great, um, even after all that I did today. So that was a huge thing. A few other things that I learned today about the Shakeology Cleanse that I wanted to share with you quickly, and uh, it's also on... Um, it's also on my private Facebook page as well for my, my cleanse group if you're in the group with me. Um, but ultimately, if you get to the point where you're starving, it's okay to have like a handful of almonds. It's okay if you've gotta, gotta reach out for a different variety of veggies like broccoli or cucumbers or whatever to get things flowing so that you actually have more opportunities to go to the bathroom. Some people, if you're finding that you're constipated, um, a lot of it is just because your body's not used to a lot of these great digestive enzymes, probiotics, prebiotics that are meant to help flush out your system and keep things flowing. So drink as much water as you can. Drink up to two quarts of decaf green tea or herbal tea. Um, water, water, water is vitally important. If you're getting headaches, you know, have that extra snack, drink extra water, do some really nice, deep breathing whenever you need it. And it's not a bad idea to step on the scale. I did today and I was down four and a half pounds. Not that I need to lose weight, I'm not doing this to lose weight, but everybody that I talked to today has lost a pound or three or four in the process of doing this cleanse. And I'm only on day two, going into day three tomorrow. Woohoo! Can't wait, I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited for day three to come and eventually be done. So I can say, I did it. I crossed the finish line. I stayed 
the course. So there you have it. Day two in the books, and I'm feeling good. I hope you are too. If not, talk to me. Take care. Bye-bye.